Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Neil from Nocturnal Nation. It's Billy with Hall Paranormal. Brenda Hall Paranormal. Right here tonight at the Mausoleum in Goldsboro, North Carolina. We're doing an investigation here tonight. We're doing a collab together. You guys stick around, grab a snack, kick back, throw in your earbuds, and let's kick this thing up a notch. Yep. All right. Is there an Earl in here? Yes. Are you the one who will just give me those thoughts in my head? Yes. What kind of thoughts you have? Uh, someone almost like strangling, strangulation. I don't know if it's someone that was choked or someone that choked on a piece of food or or what the deal was. Did you die from strangulation? That still freaks me out every time it happens. Did someone choke you? Did you die on food? Wow. Dude, was this, was this your home that you died from? Was a nursing home. Yeah, that's why I went yes online the first time because he considered it his home. Were you in there for a long time before you passed away? I got a feeling one thing I know what I'm going to say. I have a feeling. your paperwork was a DNR. Were you able to feed yourself, Mr. Earl? So someone fed you and you choked that way, correct? Name of the DNR. Yeah. Yep. DNR. The DNR means do not resuscitate, right? Yeah. Yep. Well, who else wants to talk to us? Right at the center. I can't want to tell you what. Whoever wants to talk, make this spin around in a circle and we'll talk, have a conversation. That's a big kid. Do you want to do the rest of the way if you want to talk? They're pointing to their grave. That's what it is. Is that this, this right here? Yeah. Let's we'll see it. Right there with two pictures on it. Eileen. Eileen, is that you that tried to spin this dowser all the way around? Okay, so you, obviously you want to talk. Do you want to talk with the dowser rods? If we use the necrophonic, will you talk to us through that? Okay, let's try the necrophonic. We can't use it much yet. Okay, guys, Billy's grabbing the necrophonic, and we're about to get into some deep investigation. Mm -hmm. All right, get into deep. Here we go. All right, let's have them. All right, hold on, yes. Let me get the camera over there. So you go time to talk. If they need to say it, you can say it. Now. Phone back. 
Let Miss Holloman talk, guys. Bye. Bye. Max, that you talking about that too? Max? Say that again. It's like I had this weird flash. For some reason, I had this weird flash. I don't know if it was like something trying to tell me something, but I, it's like something I've seen something sit up, and it was trying to talk to me. It was like it was like it's trying to answer my question or answer your guys's question. Oh, dude, I just got that same picture. It's an old man. So you felt it too. Yeah. Okay, so what this person might have a lot back in the old days that was when I was dead. Like yeah, because that, that shit happened a while back, man. Yeah, it did. So that they actually were pronounced dead and they sat back up and started talking again. But that well, it was too late. Yeah. Because right yeah. they thought you were dead. Where are you? What's your name? <laughs> but this is an old man. The man that's standing right here by us, what is your name? That's, that's him right there. Terry. Terry. See if it's Terry. Is your name Terry? It's rain, I hear it. Hello, Terry. What years were those, man? Huh? What, year, what year was those back in the days like that? Before they got what they had now? Back in the 30s? I would think, yeah, maybe. Terry, did you die in the 20s or the 30s? Were you buried alive? Were you buried alive on purpose? Was this a family member that done this to you? Oh, Are they still alive to this day? I got a feeling it's on the phone. Yes. Oh, that's a family member. Was this on the farm? Hang on a second. That's that sorry. Are we both saying family member? He's trying to twist my rod over there, wait some that way for some reason. Was this on a farm? I have a feeling it's on a farm. What? Did we get a name? Terry. Terry, let's try it. Terry, the family member that done this to you. Was this an uncle? You know what the weirdest shit? Right before I said uncle, I had in my mind to say brother, but uncle came out. That's weird. That is very weird. Whew, I'm getting chills right now. 
Or are you ever in that corner? Or are you the one that would kept pulling my rod over that way? Am I looking at you now, Terry? Is there anything you want to say? Are you the one that's messing with my head right now? So, when they buried you alive, Oh my God, I just got a picture. You tried to sit up in your coffin. That's what I'm saying. And you kept bumping your head. That's what I'm saying. Is that right? That's why I'm getting that pain in my head. Mm -hmm. And I'm, you're an OD. When they bury you, won't buzz up, aren't you? So they pumped you full of drugs. Was there more than one uncle that did this to you? You got yes? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to count and make these dowsing rods cross when we get to the number of uncles that was there. Two. Three. Isn't that crazy how we're working in tandem together? That's freaking crazy. Crazy. Uh, and if we both get the same answer, we get the same answer. Because I'm feeling that this man was probably the good looking man. Like, you know, not yeah. a small guy. So then yeah. it, it, it took a man to get him. You know? And I know where the farmer came from. You are a farmer, won't you, Mr. Terry? I bet you walked behind a mule many a day, didn't you? So you were probably a very muscular man, weren't you? They both brought at the same time. <laughs> I, mean, that's, I was picturing that too, that he was a, he was a bigger man. Yep. If that's what it's so many. I want, I want to ask you a question. I've never done this before, Terry. And I'm going to ask this, and it's just what I'm seeing in my mind, man. This is the images you're giving me. You had short black hair with a mustache. You like to wear the blue jean bib coveralls. Most farmers do, though, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I got to know. And you used to chew red man tobacco, right? <laughs> How the hell am I picking that up, dude? That's weak. That is weak. That's crazy. Ah. Oh, it messes with my head. Yeah, y'all. It was a real deal. It messes with me, man. I got something to do. It's got something to do with land. Land. Something to do with the land. It was money. It's money farm was land. It was tied in with money. I got a strong. That deal. must be it because I just got tapped on my leg when you were talking about it. So it's just yeah. ask that. Ask that good. It just got something to do with the farm land that, that was tied with the money. Yep. I just, I just know it. And I got another thing. Mr. Terry? Did you have money buried on that land? See, people back in those days, they didn't like to put their money in the bank. They believed in keep, keeping their money close to home. Were you a tobacco farmer? Did you farm other crops as well? Good man. There you go. That's wild. You got any questions? I haven't really got had any more feelings coming across me yet. Okay. Um, Terry, are you the one that just tapped Brenda on the leg a minute ago? I told you. What he was talking about is like all of a sudden I felt. Yeah. That's exactly how it happened. Like a road light, a road light tap. But it did like two or three times. Mr. Terry, 
You only had one child, a daughter, correct? I'm getting the age of like 11 or 12. Yes. Was your daughter 12 years old when you passed? Yep. Man, my heart's going to stop right here. <laughs> Mine too. My whole chest is tight. <laughs> That's exciting. Wow. And you know, I'm going to do that. I know we said that before, but you it's amazing how well we work together when we're all together. Yeah. Like how we, we like, it's like, it's like a rubber ball. It bounces from one. Yeah, man. We, we work so good together. We damn sure do. Yeah. I have Neil's name called a hot hawk, hawk a turtle. <laughs> yeah. Hawk turtle. That's what you said by the girl earlier. Yeah. I was, I was hearing a crash. I didn't yeah. say it. I should have said it. Yeah. Now, I, so. now, now when I'm feeling something, together, it's say it to us. Instead of Hawk ESTNC, it's Hawk Turtle Nation. <laughs> don't, forget, don't forget not Turtle Nation. <laughs> you know, that's our goal. That's, that's our boy and everything, but it's Hawk. Hawk Turtle, Turtle Nation. Nation. <laughs> Thanks. That's crazy. <laughs> you got to leave that part in there. <laughs> I don't feel anything else for him. Um, okay, so something just flew up from Terry. Are, are we done now? You told your story. Are you done? Yes. Yep. Rest in peace. Something just flew up in front of me. Yeah, I got a headache right there. Right there in my tummy. name that starts with a J. I can't tell if it's a man or a woman. It's a woman. What's a woman's name that starts with a J? Julie? Either Julie or Jessica or Jennifer. Okay, we'll start with Julie. Is your name Julie? You got a sister named Jennifer. Another sister named Jessica. Yep. So let me see if I'm understanding this correctly. Julie, you're the daughter of a preacher, right? And I got a feeling that she she could go easily go to sharp pain. I think she died with some kind of tumor or something. Did you have a brain tumor? Was this tumor, was it um, cancer? Do you want to talk to us through the necrophonic, Julie? You know the deal, brother? Talk to us. You need to sit on that side or whatever, brother. Yeah, I know. Don't go back. Hi, Julie. You, you can talk to us now. We hear your voice. Child, a negative quantity. Yeah. Well, I saw the day 
Jeff was naked. <coughs> Is there like a difference in color? Yes. Yeah. So, like yeah. that girl, okay, like that girl, was like the greatest, the greatest on Bible. She was all white, right? She had a white dress, white hair, but her face was distorted, right? So I can't tell what her face looked like. Now I see a lot more of shadow figures. Yeah. Now I've seen shadow figures, but I guess I want to see. Spirit, is there about that chair? You still about that chair? It's a little doubt right over there. It's right here by me because I've got a sharp pain in my head, inside my head. Like somebody took a hit and tried to build me something. In that chair that you were just standing by, there is a, a black box there. If you just go touch it, you'll make a quick beep sound. But that'll let me know if you're here. If you want to do that for me, you don't got to, but. And if you want to, that would be super awesome. I've yet to have that for me to go off. Edward wants to talk again. He didn't tell the story, did he? Edward, you want to talk now? Did we learn anything from him at all other than his name? Okay. Edward, you still here? Intend to do harm to us while we're here? Do both of them want to do us? Okay, I'm going to let you know right now whoever you are, you're not allowed to touch us, you're not allowed to attach yourself to us, and you're not allowed to follow us home. None of us, that is. None of us. You can't touch us, you can't hurt us. The only one you're allowed to touch is Brenda. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't touch her either, I don't reckon. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> this bad spirit. Show me where you're at. Is that where you were sitting at? Yeah, he's seen it over in the corner. Yep, that's where I saw it right over here, too. The eyes that. Um, we just saw. Is that that evil spirit? I hate evil spirits. They run all the time. They do. Nasty, wasty spirit. <laughs> oh, that was a spirit. Barely. 
Are you? I can't talk. Are you the Holy Spirit? I feel like you are. Yep. He's the mean ass. Are you constantly trying to push everyone else out here around all the other spirits? This one had a had a, had a heart attack and then a, or a stroke and then a heart attack because I went from like feeling like a certain kind of pressure in my chest to like to where it just kept like somebody grabbed a hold of it and tried to snatch it out of my chest. So this one is starting. Right. I think he just crossed my lungs. Mm hmm. Just crossed my buildings up. Wow. He likes to hide behind corners. Yeah. Were you a bully in life? Bullying life, they bully when they dead too. Well, I'm telling you what, man. You leave these other spirits alone. Don't let me come here and have to run you out. He but knows I'll do it. He knows how. If you want to stay here, you got to play nice. Do you understand that? He said, Yes, I, sir. <laughs> don't let me come back here and see you have to do it again. Again, if I tell you to leave it that same day, do you understand that? Deal, Captain Reveal. Mm -hmm. Jesus, it's a filler, man. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Like her right next door, man. Like, I don't have a portal, but this is where they're all there. Just kind of. Well, here, here's the thing, man. A lot of people don't realize this. Every doorway is a temple portal. Every one of them. Because you know, you leave them one place and go to another. Spirits can grasp, grasp that concept, they can use it in the portal. Did you get a name on that? I don't know. Man. Three minutes over the day. Same tall spirit I was, I was I was walking through that door. His name's Johnny. Bust your side open on one of the beams coming down. Okay. Guys, we're getting ready to wrap this up for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember on both. Nocturnal Nation and Hawk Paranormal Eastern North Carolina to like, 
subscribe, leave a comment down below, and hit the bell so you'll be notified each time a new video drops. All right, guys, until next time, this is Neil, and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace. Peace.